everybody. Welcome to day seven, working up towards seven minutes of mindfulness meditation. So it is a testament to wherever it is that you're at in your life, to dedication to yourself, or perhaps participating using this as a science experiment, or attempting to learn something new. I can only vouch for my personal experience, but Meditation, and especially the form of mindfulness meditation, has revolutionized and been a tremendous part of my personal transformation and own growth. Not only as, um, but not only just in my everyday life, but at the evolution of my human beingness. And during this time when everything may feel overwhelmed, overworked, overstressed, or just undone, when it comes to life and our experiences, especially what we cannot control, this type of practice gives us a refuge, a resilience, to be able to, when we deal with a discomfort in our lives, that we can withstand with something firm of practice, something to come back to, to keep us whole and just remembering what it is that we're truly comprised of, which is nothing more than strength and ultimately love some joy and that's not meant to sound woo woo or oh gushy but it's it's what we are and it's what we come into this world with and it's what we have to offer in today's offering is it is it's about an attitude John Kabat-Zinn talks with these elements as the attitudinal soil and these are what type of seeds do you plan to nurture and when we are our attitudes, as we focused on yesterday a little bit, our attitudes will make or break us and how we choose to approach something. Oftentimes we are going to want to, you know, take things at a distance or charge right at it and get after it. But regardless, however we choose, our, we interpret our stress, that is going to show up physically, manifest itself in our bodies. Specifically, if you're someone that's dealing with anything that's with your heart, there's a lot of, you know, impatience hate, cruelty, and lack of forgiveness that manifests itself even the growth into the small intestine, um, chest pains, asthmatic conditions, uh, spleen, your stomach, your pancreas. This is when we have a lot of worry and anxiety and mistrust. And this starts to create itself in, you know, indigestion and um, a bunch of other digestive issues, IBS, um, just ulcers, it's, there's, there's a lot that, that has to get released. They're, it's trapped. Your lungs, skin, large intestine. If there's any type of physical manifestations of stress there, this is the emotional result of sadness and depression. And, and generally, um, especially with your skin, psoriasis, um, more so going into the large intestine, um, constipation, bloating, lots of other things that can evolve. Kidneys, our kidneys, ears, bladder. These are different parts. Obviously, fear, back of our kidneys, adrenals, that's anxiety. Adrenaline, fear-based, is a lot of here. Loss of energy, loss of control. Um, you know, we may feel that, um, we've heard this thing called adrenal fatigue, like we can't just shut it down. And that shows up in a lot of liver complications, etc. And then, or rather the kidney, kidney complications. Then we have our liver, eyes, and gallbladder. And these are another part that hold, that houses a lot of um, anger, frustration, jealousy, envy. And so if these are any emotions that you may be experiencing in your body or experiencing in your life, check in with those different parts. And this is, and this is just kind of a negative emotional um, cycle. And a lot of it has to do with Act, uh, Chinese acupuncture and the elements and so if you have especially there are channels of yin and um, energy flow and whatever it else um, so feel free to kind of take your own research and, and dive into that but in today's seven minute practice using this as a time to just check in with our attitude and can we approach all of these things that show up physically in our body with a little bit more kindness and care. Let's begin. 
Finding yourself into your seat or lying down. So whatever that might appear, however that may appear for you. Coming into a place allows you to relax and at ease. Closing your eyes, relaxing the jaw. And begin by taking a few full cycles of breath. Exploring the capacity of your inhale for today, your exhale for today. And just allowing yourself to be very conscious and aware of the fact that you're, you have this ability to breathe on your own. Becoming aware that your body is aligning itself into a place of stillness, whatever that may look like for you. There might be some wiggles or restlessness, especially as you check in with the mood of the mind, the energy levels of the body. Asking yourself, what do I need at this moment? Being aware of any sounds that might be present in the room that you're in. coming into contact with touch, with your legs touching, solidifying you into the earth with it's the body being held and supported within this moment. And just feel the skin get a little bit heavier, the muscles, the bone, the weightiness of the bone just also being supported by the earth. Cultivating this attitude here of just kindness. Like what a gift this is for myself. To allow the use of time in a way that may be new, unfamiliar. And what can I do for myself to make it a little bit easier? Simplify. How can I get out of my own way? And come back to the basics of just breathing. Observing the in-breath coming into the nostrils, the chest deepening into the belly, and the out-breath. Observing those spaces between each inhale and exhale, those soft moments of pause and exchange. Kind of like the exchange of giving and receiving. Giving a little bit of love to yourself, to others. In order to receive that same sense of love and care and kindness in. So what's true for you here in this moment? Just noticing the body, the top of the skull, the eyes, let the eyes fall a little bit deeper into the sockets. The bottom teeth unclench from the top roof of your mouth. Tongues fall away. Relaxing more towards your shoulders and come back into that sense of dignified posture of holding yourself with an open heart. Noticing the rib cage move as you breathe. No need to change anything. And if you find the mind is already on its ticker tape of thoughts and to-dos and when is this going to be over, can you acknowledge it with an attitude of naming it to taming it, as Dr. Dan Siegel says. Just name what's here, worry, impatience, and say, hi, I see you. See the mind 
kind of doing something and you can escort the wandering mind back to what's actually here in this moment, the breath, the body. What is concrete in the state of presence? judging of your thoughts or of yourself or of others appearing? What would it be like to open up the very center of your heart to a bit more connection, understanding of just you as a human and other, other heart-filled individuals in your everyday life? experience very similar circumstances to their everyday worlds. A comparison of problems but just coming back to your attitude about how you interpret and relate to those that may have a different viewpoint than our own selves look different, have a different set of beliefs, and that we're so much more the same than we are different. Continuing to keep your attention here, this attitude of openness breath and every time the mind does start to wander, come on back. As you do, bring a smile as if you can sense it inside of your own heart. And for today, can you place your hand on this heart of yours? with an attitude of this radical act of time, of pause, of true sense of inner connectedness and your own feedback of communication to yourself to take care of this heart of yours by this practice of slowing down so the body can learn how to respond in a new way that releases its manifestations of disease and discomfort. Calm mind, soothed heart, healed body. Let's take a collective breath here together today, just in some gratitude. It's an offering of time, and a building of skills, of awareness, attention, and attitude. And when you're ready, feel free to open up your eyes and lift your gaze. So with day seven, practicing, you feel that twinge of judgment or being a jerk to yourself with your thoughts and that internal dialogue. Just check in. Would you talk to your best friend that way? Would you um, really want to be talked to that way either? So with that, wishing everybody peace, good health, and I will see you back tomorrow for day eight, almost to 2021, with new skills ready to take our lives into a, you know, who knows, a bit more peaceful place in the new year. So everybody, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.